welcome back to jyoti hydroponics let's get started to get better at farming we have come up with full training course on hydroponics with the name hydroponics complete training foundations of soilless agriculture on our website www.jyotihydroponics.com and then accordingly after you have the knowledge about hydroponics in and out then go with the nutrient recipe trainings as per the crop you want to grow the reason behind this is because each and every crop has its own nutrient recipe for roots and for shoots as a foliar spray we have mentioned all the schedule as per the crop from first day to last day of harvest which includes all fertigation foliar spray of nutrients pesticides fungicides bactericides and vericides this session is part 10 of tomato farming now our plants they are in a very good vegetative state and it requires pruning now pruning tomato plants is essential for maintaining good air flow which helps to prevent fungal issues such as blight and mildew here is step by step guide to do pruning first one is we need to make sure that we remove all the suckers and these suckers are the small shoots that develop in the crotch joints between the main stem and branches they can grow into competing stems reducing air flow and sunlight penetration pinch off these suckers regularly to encourage a single strong main stem then overlay dense foliage that can restrict air flow and create humid environment and this humid environment is conducive to fungal growth remove some of the lower leaves especially those touching the grow buds to improve air circulation around the plant support your tomato plants with stakes or trellis wires that keeps them upright and prevents sprawling growth this allows better air flow around the foliage and reduces the risk of fungal diseases then trim back any overcrowded or tangled branches that could impair air flow focus on opening up the center of the plant to promote air circulation throughout the canopy of the plant when planting tomatoes ensure proper spacing between plants to prevent overcrowding this allows each plant to receive sufficient air flow and sunlight now comes the fertigation process of supplying fertilizers through irrigation water which i have already discussed in my previous sessions on this channel while foliar spraying involves applying nutrients directly to the leaves here is a schedule to optimize nutrient uptake and enhance photosynthesis in tomato plants now in this flowering and fruit developing stage switch to a fertilizer with higher phosphorus content to increase flowering and in return it increases fruit production so here you need to maintain the exact amount of phosphorus nitrogen potassium magnesium sulfur content as per the plant requirement now then apply a foliar spray containing macronutrients as per the plant requirement to support fruit development and increase yield monitor nutrient levels and adjust fertigation accordingly to sustain healthy growth and fruit development apply occasional foliar sprays of additional micronutrients to increase the plant health benefits using organic pest and disease control methods is crucial for preventing damage to tomato plants by avoiding harmful chemicals here are some organic options the first one is neem oil effective against a wide range of pests such as aphids white flies and spider mites it also has antifungal properties making it useful for controlling diseases like powdery mildew then comes your bacillus a natural bacterial insecticide that targets 
caterpillars and larva of certain moth and butterfly species including tomato hornworms then comes your copper based fungicides copper compounds like copper sulfates are approved for organic gardening and can help control fungal diseases such as early blight and late blight sulfur based fungicides are effective against powdery mildew and other fungal infections they work by inhibiting fungal growth and spore germination then comes diatomaceous earth this natural powder made from fossilized algae can be sprinkled around tomato plants to deter pests like slugs snails and beetles also garlic and chili pepper spray which are homemade sprays made from garlic and chili peppers can act as repellents for insects and may have antifungal properties when using any pesticide fungicide or vericide always follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully and avoid spraying during hot sunny periods to prevent leaf damage rotate between different products to prevent the development of resistance in pests and diseases additionally encourage biodiversity in your setup to attract beneficial insects that prey for pests and help maintain a balanced ecosystem regular monitoring of plants for sign of pests and diseases is essential for early detection and effective management we have covered all this in our training sessions where you can learn complete in and out of hydroponic strategies and concepts also you get the complete schedule of nutrient recipe for roots and shoots with the foliar spray recipes of nutrients and also schedule of stress release and immune booster foliar sprays as well this complete nutrient and foliar training are crop specific as each and every plant has its own signs so we have come up with the complete schedule of fertigation and foliar spray recipe and schedules from first day to last day of harvest for most of the crops we have practiced with these recipes for years and years and after we got the best result only then we are sharing it with everybody and this would really bring the cost of doing farming in hydroponics almost equal to the cost of same as in traditional farming but for this you will have to be very careful with humidity of environment in substrate temperature of fertigation water in substrate ph and ec of fertigation water and substrate temperature of plant and environment and there are many other strategies which we have covered in our course hydroponics complete training foundations of soilless agriculture that is available on our website www.jyotihydroponics.com i can assure you that you can get your most of the doubts cleared at one go and would definitely love and understand the training sessions very easily we will end the session here for today and see you in our next session till then happy farming goodbye and have a nice day